Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D. Welcome back to the channel and it's time for another video. Uh, I have a triple tutorial here for you today uh, in which the first of the tutorial will be the motorboat. Second up is the sailboat and then I will also even be teaching you how to build the yacht. Uh, as far as that there, um, also big news, uh, the Battleship won. Uh, with 60% of the votes, the Battleship will be the next tutorial up. Uh, and then, of course, hopefully after that will be the submarine. Um, of course, uh, the submarine may be after a, a newer video, just, of course, <laughs> just to get something new out there. Um, but it all just depends on the schedule uh, that's set up for these videos there. Uh, but no, as far as that, thank you guys so much for actually voting. Um, for all those who did vote, that went to the poll on the screen. I was able to figure it out. You guys are awesome. Uh, there was about 150 votes total. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that was pretty awesome. Um, but no, as far as that there, uh, we're going to take you through building all of these three machines here. Um, next video, of course, will be the Battleship tutorial. Um, but if you guys have any questions, anything like that, and of course, request builds, go ahead and throw them down into the comments below, and I'll be more than happy uh, to go over those with you. Uh, these machines here, of course, work uh, in Java Edition 1.15.2, all the way up through the new snapshot, the 20W18A. Uh, so, of course, if you um, you know have those additions, you're ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to build these machines in Bedrock. Uh, there's quite a few different quasi-connectivity spots in all of the machines there. Uh, hopefully in the future, though, of course, uh, we can get some, some boats over there to Bedrock. Uh, but for now, these are just Java-based. And yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy it. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorials. All right, so for the motorboat, you will need four observers, four slime blocks, two honey blocks, one sticky piston, five piston, three block of choice, 15 stair of choice, and 11 um, slabs of choice. And then you will need a trap door to go ahead and update the machine to turn it off and on. And of course, um, if you want to stop it and it look good still, <laughs> uh, if you want to stop it perfectly every time, you'll just use an immovable block. Uh, but yeah. All right, so starting off with the motorboat here, uh, you want one observer facing straight down into a slime block right above the surface of the water like so. Then we're gonna put slime blocks on both sides, an observer on both sides of those. Grab our pistons. We want one here, one right there, and then three along the bottom of those slime blocks. From here, we'll grab a slime block, so, and then honey blocks on both sides. Three blocks of choice. And then two stairs on each side with a slab in the front, like this. Should be looking at something that looks like this. We'll do the same exact thing on the other side. And then we'll also put a slab right here in the front. Now from the side right here, we want to go ahead and grab our stairs. And we want one right there, second one right here, and then a third one just like so. So you kind of get that angle on the last one. Same thing on this side, two, and then the third one facing inwards like this. Grabbing our slabs again, we can go ahead and place them all the way up, and then one right there, and then all the way up on this side as well. We can grab our trap doors. I usually like it just to be placed against this block. Then we can grab our observers again, place them one right here, and then we can grab a sticky piston, place it right there. Grabbing those stairs again, we want one right here facing into uh, this slime block like so and then one just like that so you're able to actually get into your boat now from here uh, very simple um, still having your stairs we want one here and then we would like another stairs right there and then one more just like so and then once you have this you are looking at your completed motorboat and to drive your boat, you actually don't need anything except an, an immovable block if you do so wish, if you want it to stop and it still looks pretty good like so. Um, to start it up, all you do, you can stand right here in this middle area, you can stand right in front of this observer if you want, uh, and then from here all you'll do is just um, open this trapdoor. And if you want to stop it, obviously you can update this trapdoor again and eventually you may be able to stop it while you're in motion, <laughs> which is kind of nice, but it may break the front of it a little bit, but it doesn't break your machine at all. Like once you hit this, it fixes it and you're ready to go. I would just place an immovable block right here. And then as you can see, you're all set and ready to go for the next run. 
And for the sailboat, I'll come back down this way, you will need 22 observers, 20 slime blocks, 12 honey blocks, 3 sticky piston, 28 regular piston, 2 block of choice, 23 uh, staircase of choice, 12 slabs, 3 sea lanterns, uh, 1 terracotta, 1 glazed terracotta block of choice, um, 20 more um, block of choice there, uh, whatever color you really guys want for the overall color of your sailboat. Um, 11 blocks of choice here for the uh, the mast. And then your 32 and 20 wool uh, for the sail. And then you also have 9 uh, regular glass, 19 slabs of choice for the, the deck that you can see here. Um, you also have five fence in, uh, five fences and one end rod. Uh, this one will be started with a fire charge and stopped with a movable block of choice. Uh, but once you have that, you're ready to start building the sailboat. All right, so next up for the sailboat, what we're going to do is come down this way, and you want to start off with two slime blocks just above the surface of the water. Coming out of each side, you want three honey blocks, just like so. From here, we'll grab observers, and we want one coming out there, one right here, and then three face down. One there, there, and there. So you should be looking at this. Next up, we're going to grab our, um, actually, we're going to grab a light block of choice, place it right here, and then you want two blocks of choice on the sides so it can push all of these pistons forward, and then we'll fill in all of this with pistons as well. Uh, once you have this, uh, we'll come up to this area and we'll want a block of choice just like so. We're going to have a sticky piston coming directly off of that, and then we will have an observer facing into this block of choice here. Um, coming back out from this direction, we want one slime block just like so. Um, from this slime block, what we'll do is come out three total. We want pistons on the bottom, facing forward just like so. And then we want the sticky piston on the side just like this. Now, next up, what we're going to do, grab another slime block, grab an observer. What's facing into this slime block here, and then we will grab a piston, placing it just like so. Um, from which, obviously, when this piece is pushed or uh, pulled forward, we want to make sure that this sticky piston is updated. And it will be updated from this observer. And we'll place another observer right next to it uh, to quasi-connect all of these three pistons together. Now, from here as well, we'll also place an observer right there. And then we want another sticky piston right here. But first, before we do that, we're going to complete the engine. Coming off of this piston here, we want your wool of choice. And then we'll grab another observer and it'll be facing this direction uh, so it can quasi connect to this sticky piston here um, and you know that's just your cycle for the engine next up we'll grab slime blocks we want two coming out of uh, this sticky piston here like so and then we want one directly on top grab a, an observer place it right here and then we also want one facing forward just like so grab a piston we'll place it there and then two more pistons in front of those observers just like this um, this will actually get uh, pushed forward first. Uh, it, this won't update right away, but then when this piece gets pushed forward, it'll update both the pistons. Um, so yeah, no, from there, what we'll do is we will grab more honey blocks, or slime blocks, come out two, and then we want one back, and then we're going to place an observer facing into that slime block on top of this piston. Place a piston there, observer here, and then two pistons just like this. Switching over to honey blocks, we want to do the same thing, but we're going to have this full piece. We won't be getting rid of that one. We'll grab an observer, place it there and there. Piston, go here, and two right there. We'll switch back to the slime blocks again. Do the same thing without destroying that. We'll have two, uh, three slime blocks just like this. We want an observer here and then there, and then we want a piston on the top like so, and then two pistons just like this. Next up, we have the slime block or the honey block section, but it's going to be three of them this time. And we're actually going to put a uh, observer facing straight down right there. And then we want two pistons right underneath it. And then you want a block of choice right here. Um, any block of choice that can be powered by an observer. Uh, reason being, obviously, is because the honey blocks aren't. And we will need to power this piston with this observer right there. Cool. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Uh, this is just the full mechanism that will push the entire sailboat of the build forward. All right, so coming back over to the sailboats, we want to dive underneath the water here coming out to this middle piston. We want to come one block out from it with our block of choice, and then we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks total, and then an upside down stair uh, case just like this. 
Now coming to either side, we want to come back to this block right here, upside down staircase, and then we want one facing that way as well, and then one facing the opposite direction. So you're looking at something that looks like this. And then we'll fill up all these blocks to the front with um, top side half slabs. We'll do the same thing over on this side as well. Upside down stairs there, same thing there, but facing a different direction, and it's like so. Grab those slabs again, and we want them all the way up to this block, just like that. Coming out of the water, we're going to go ahead and grab our stairs again. We want one sideways and backwards, and then another sideways one, just like so. Coming back this direction, we'll want another staircase um, facing this way. Uh, so obviously we'll be able to get into our boat from the water. Uh, same thing on this side right here. And we're going to fill up every block between them with our block of choice. And then we want one, two, three, four blocks of choice coming out of the back of each of these stairs. Once you have that, we can go ahead and switch back to our stairs. And we want one facing forward two facing sideways so they connect right here and then one more facing forward so you get this kind of weird looking one at the end of course if you miss that again that's uh, one forward two to the side so those connect and then one forward again so you get that weird looking shape that kind of rounds it off then you can place a uh, staircase upside down right there here and then right there i should finish off like the outer hole area I'm going to switch over to my secondary slab uh, for the deck of the boat here. And then we're going to come back like this. And then we're going to come all the way back to here and leave those three blocks specifically open. Um, so obviously there's one block on the left side of your block of choice. And then there are two blocks on this side of your block of choice if you're kind of trying to line it up there to get it correct. Then we're going to grab our light source block of choice, place it right here. It can be sea lanterns, glowstone, as long as it's movable. Um, and then we're going to place a slime block right in the middle, and then a secondary block of choice on top, which is just the beginning of our sail. All right, so finishing off the sailboat with the sail itself, we're going to come down to this piston right here, and we're going to come out from each one of these pistons one block with your wool of choice. Just like so. It should all be one block away, just like that. We're going to grab a slime block, we're going to place it right here, and then an end rod on the top, just like this. Next up, we'll grab our secondary wool of choice, place two here, we want another two there, and then we're going to come out and make it even with that one. Same right here with three uh, wool total from the sides, and then one, two, three, four right here, and then from the bottom one, we want one, two, three, four, and five. Coming out of the front of there, slime block, just like that. And then we can actually grab our glass clear, uh, just to run it up here, uh, to make it kind of give it that invisible look for the middle, to make it actually look like the sail is just attached on the bottom and the top. Um, coming out of there, though, uh, what we want to do is grab our um, secondary block of choice and come all the way down to that slime block uh, to kind of give us our center mast for the sail. And then from here, we're going to grab a um, wool of choice uh, right there. Then you want two just like this. I'm going to place an observer right here, and we'll switch that out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for a piston, placing that piston moving forward there, uh, what we're going to do is grab our uh, second, uh, first wool of choice, come out just like this, and then come inwards. So you have this shape. One on top of there, two just like that, and then another two against the mast just like so. Um, from here, we're going to grab our white wool again, uh, place it just like so, up to this point, and then those two, just like this, can grab our glass and then just fill in that area as well, so this whole piece will be moved forward. And then lastly, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we want to go ahead and place in a terracotta block of choice, just like so. We're going to come out from there with a slime block, that's why we made that terracotta. A fence gate, or I'm sorry, just a fence on the top, and then two just like this. You want a slime block here, and then two fencing uh, on the bottom, just like so. Perfect, and then that should be the completed sailboat. And to power the sailboat, um, all you have to do is come down this way, and you'll go ahead and just update this observer right here, uh, and then in which the whole machine will start moving forward. <laughs> Once all the lag is done. Um, to stop your machine, all you want to do is place an immovable block along the bottom of this uh, wool right here. Uh, to demonstrate, I'll place it right there. And it will stop the machine. And as you can see, the entire sailboat has come along for the ride.
And lastly, for the yacht, you will need 31 observers, 34 slime blocks, 18 honey blocks, three, or I'm sorry, two sticky piston, 41 regular piston, 31 block of choice, 56 stairs, 27 slabs, nine sea lanterns, uh, all of the terracotta blocks that you'll need here, it's up to you. Um, this is just for the design, uh, but you'll need 23, 21, and 15 terracotta blocks total. 19 uh, black stained glass or whatever glass of choice you choose. Um, 20 half slabs, uh, secondary half slabs, again, for the deck of the ship. Um, you also have two trap doors and a crafting bench. Uh, this one is start started with a fire charge and stopped with an immovable block. Uh, but yeah, once you have all that, you are ready to build the yacht. All right, and then lastly, starting off with the yacht here, you want five slime blocks in this type of shape, so four straight up and then one to the side, directly off the surface of the water. Now from here, we're going to grab an observer. Uh, we're going to place a temporary block there and then an observer facing directly into this bottom slime block. Grabbing pistons, we want two on either side, just like so, and then two just like that. Grab an observer, place it there, and then we want a glazed terracotta block right in front of the observer. I just place it that uh, the way I just placed it so this creeper head is facing this direction. Um, from here, we'll swoop back down this way, grabbing our slime blocks. We want two coming off like this, and then uh, two in the water, just like so. Next up, we can grab observers, and we're gonna want one straight up, just right there. And then we're gonna want temporary blocks right here, so we can place observers straight up, just like so. Now once we remove our temporary blocks, we should be looking at something that looks like this. Grab a regular block, place it there, and then you want pistons right there. <laughs> Couldn't decide where to place them. Anyway, um, after that, you want to grab an observer, you want to place them just like so, and then pistons like this. You should be looking at this five piston pattern. Um, coming out from this piston here, what we're going to want is a slime block, and then one on top, one down, and then two out of the side, just like this. And we can actually place two honey blocks coming out this way, just like so, to kind of even it up. Um, obviously, to, that's why we needed two pistons, <laughs> so this doesn't go over the push limit. Um, next up, we can place an observer right here, and then we want an observer, actually we'll place at a temporary block right there first. So we can place an observer facing into this slime block, like so. And we want a temper, uh, an observer facing this way. Then we're gonna grab pistons. We want a piston there, on the top, here, and then there. Then we're gonna grab the glazed terracotta again, placing it just like so in front of this observer, so it'll power all of these pistons. Um, coming back this way, we wanna grab a sticky piston and just place it right here, diagonally down from this piston. So this will give us our engine. Um, in which, uh, coming back this way, we're gonna grab our honey blocks again, coming out from the bottom pistons. Two honey blocks there, and then two right there. Observers on the top facing forward, and then we want to fill up this whole front piece with pistons. Uh, once you have that, we'll go ahead and put in two slime blocks, or like so. One to the front, and then one on the bottom. So that whole piece is four slime blocks total. Next up, we're going to grab an observer, and we're going to place it facing straight down into this slime block. And then we'll take two more pistons and fill up that little area, and then one piston in the front. Perfect. Uh, so from here, we're going to come up this direction, and what we'll want to um, do is grab honey blocks coming out from these pistons there. Uh, from here, we'll just grab observers, place them forward, and then pistons on the front. Awesome. So this is obviously where your character is going to be standing uh, to start and stop the machine. Um, from there, what we'll do is come out from the side pistons with slime blocks, just like so, and grab a block of choice, place it on the bottom. And then fill these up with observers and pistons. Perfect. So once you have that, uh, we're going to grab those honey blocks again. Two right there, observers, and then pistons. And then lastly, we just want three slime blocks on the top, just like this. Grab our staircase of choice, place it like so. Move back around to the front. Three observers and then three pistons. Perfect. So yeah, that will be the full-on engine and everything that pushes the full hull of the ship forward. All right, so moving forward, I actually placed uh, too many blocks in the last one. You can actually remove that piston and then that observer right there. Uh, that's on the right of this observer. Uh, coming down to this piston, we want to come out from the top of it with a slab. And then we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slabs total. Grabbing our staircase, we want to come out from the edge here with some temporary blocks till this point. 
and then we're going to go around the overall shape of the build with these stairs um, upside down just like this and we want it to kind of curve around on the edge bringing it all the way up to the front at this point so it'll be even with the last slab that you placed and then we'll place a stair coming off the front there so you get this nice rounded angle same thing on this side bring these stairs all the way to the front of the build so it's even with that slab we're going to come to the front and place a stair coming off the front so you get that rounded effect next up we want our blocks of choice and then we want three there and then we will fill up this entire piece all the way to the front Grabbing our stairs, we want one upside down in the middle, and then we want that rounded off angle on both sides. Cool. Now we are ready to come out of the water. Um, coming up this way, we want to come down. We want to place a stair of choice here, and then one sideways for the rounded off effect, and then the same exact thing on this side. Uh, so this will allow you to get up into the top of the machine, and then this side will allow you to get into the machine when you swim up this way. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, once from there, we're going to go ahead and grab our terracotta block. So this is completely up to preference. I'm going to be doing this design here on the sides. Uh, but one side is different than the other, uh, just of course, given the staircase that's inside to get up to the second level. I had to make this side look a little different. So what we'll do is we will uh, make both. <laughs> uh, coming out from there, what we want to do is place in a uh, terracotta block of choice there. And then on the top, I'm pretty sure we got to go back that way. Nope. This way, yep, <laughs> perfect. Uh, then we're gonna place a uh, sea lantern there, skip two blocks, another one, and then another two blocks. So it should look like that. You can even do it to the other side if you'd like. Next up uh, with these, well, we want to actually kind of come back this way now. This is the one where we gotta come into the inside. Yep, and then we'll grab the other blaze terracotta. I just like it, so where the creeper face is facing straight up out of the side there. Uh, we'll grab the um, next block up that we wanna use. Place it in like this, place it just like so. These have to be terracotta blocks, of course. Um, just do it with the slime blocks on the inside. Uh, so definitely you still got to use terracotta. Got to come on the inside. There we go. Perfect. Same thing there. And we want the same thing that we did here, just like so. And then keep her face on the top. Perfect. Uh, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and place an upside down staircase. We want to grab these again up and then uh, I think this one is this way perfect then another upside down staircase and black stained glass uh, now uh, doing the same side this is basically all the same on both sides so we'll do it over here as well uh, we want a uh, same pattern on this side All right, so you should be looking at the exact same thing on both sides. I just went ahead and, you know, made the pattern all nice. Um, but yeah, no, as far as that, uh, what we can do on both of the sides here, what we're going to want is to grab our slime blocks and our honey blocks. Uh, from here, we'll place a slime block on the top of the um, cyan terracotta, just like so. And then we can grab our honey blocks, placing one on the top of that. Now, on this side only, we're going to want to bring up the terracotta blocks. Yeah, that's the way I want it. Um, you just want to bring it up one block all the way down to this point here. Perfect. Uh, up till this point here, then you can go ahead and place in two more black stained glass. And then this side, you can actually go ahead and just fill up with your black stained glass completely. Perfect. Uh, once you are here, you can just place in a stair of choice uh, there and here. And then you want to fill in all the, the top of these blocks with half slabs all the way up to that glass, just like so. Perfect. So once you have that, um, that is the completed side portions of the yacht. And of course, don't want to forget this block, just in case you did. <laughs> all right, so last step for the yacht, we're going to come in this direction, grabbing another slab of choice for the inside deck of the ship uh, for the bottom level. We're gonna fill up this little area here and then we're just gonna come down these two rows all the way to this point. And we want another slab there, crafting bench, and then a slab uh, right there, just like so. And then glazed terracotta, three of which will go right there. Perfect. Um, so once you have that, we're gonna come back up to the front. I'm gonna place a temporary block real quick. So I can place, the, place these two glazed terracotta in just like so. Grab a whole block here 
place it right there, just like this, and then you want an upside down staircase, just like so. And then grabbing a other slab, we'll place it right there. Perfect. So that should be the whole flooring of the build. Um, coming out this way, we're going to want a slime block there, and then a honey block right there. After this, uh, we're going to come down from underneath this honey block with a slab, just right there. Uh, from this slab, we're going to want more terracotta blocks, but I want mine to face a certain way. Uh, we just need three of them right here. One, two, and three. Let me get rid of that there. And as you can see, you have three terracotta blocks. Then you want an observer and then a piston right there. Slime block coming off the front of that. Piston to each side. And then a piston floating in the open just right there. <laughs> coming down this way, we also want an observer facing straight down into the slime block here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got something stuck in my throat there. Um, from here, um, what we'll do is we will come off of this piston with a slime block. And then we also want two glazed terracotta this way. And then we will also grab staircase of choice, placing it there. And I want my first slab choice again. And we will just come off the front two slabs, just like so. Next up, grabbing an observer. I'm going to place it underneath this slab facing into this slime block. Then a sticky piston underneath that slime block with a slime block in front of it. Then we want stairs, one there, one here. And then these pistons are literally only pushing these pieces of glass forward uh, from there. But yeah, other than that, that should be the completed uh, front piece. <clears throat> Excuse me, coming back this way, we are going to um, grab our um, light gray glazed terracotta again, or which of course uh, ever you prefer. Um, coming off the front, we want this to face a certain way as well. I'm going to come back four blocks, uh, and then I want a block of choice here, and then one more um, glazed terracotta. Um, on this side, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to want to grab our slime blocks. Actually, we're going to grab our stairs first. We want that stair to face this direction on the inside. Coming off the front uh, of that staircase or the back, whichever you perceive it, we want an observer and then a piston. So then you should be looking at this. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my slime blocks. And we want one here, and then two on the top, just like so. So you should have this open space for that piston. Coming up to the top area, we want one block of choice, just like so. So obviously the slime blocks uh, will pick it up and won't uh, go past it. And we want to add in this side with our four glazed terracotta as well. We're going to leave this spot open. Now, from the front, we want to go ahead and grab our staircase. And we want, actually, we're going to grab a secondary terracotta. And we want to place one here, one there. And now we can grab our staircase. And we want one sideways and then one to the front to give it that nice rounded off shape. Then we're going to do the same thing over here, sideways, and then one to the front to give it that nice rounded off shape <laughs> uh, but yeah from there um, last step is going to be coming out of the top here uh, we're going to want uh, honey blocks two right here and then just one over here with a slime block in the middle i'm going to go ahead and grab my sea lanterns and we want three coming out from the front slime block and then we want a staircase of choice just like so grabbing my black stained glass go ahead and place two just like so and then we would like more staircase, uh, three sideways, and then come to the front for the one that's on the slime block. Do the same thing over here as well for the front. Perfect. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is grab terracotta block, put it right here, and then the same thing over here. Of course, you know me, I gotta have it face a certain way. Then you can place in two more black stained glass on this side and two there, and then one right there on this side. Uh, but yeah, perfect. Uh, you should be looking at your completed yacht once you have placed that last block. All right, so we only forgot three blocks, uh, so that's not too bad. They're kind of out of the way, but they are important. Uh, coming into the back, we want a half slab coming off the back of this slime block on top of that piston. And then we're also going to want two trap doors. Uh, we want one here and then one right there. Um, so of course, this honey block right here um, will grab this trap door uh, and push all of this forward at the same time. Uh, once you have that, you should be looking at your completed yacht. Now to pilot, pilot this machine, uh, you'll just come in this direction, swim up in this way, and you hop on in. 
You want to come up to this piston, you'll stand on it, uh, and then you'll just update this observer. And then when you are satisfied, uh, you can easily just place an immovable block against this observer. And that will stop your machine. Now once you get rid of it, your machine will keep going. <laughs> Um, to stop it perfectly, what you're going to want to do is place an immovable block along the side of this honey block underneath this observer, but sometimes it gets kind of tricky. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just like that. Um, and then when the machine stops, you don't have any like visual like mess ups or anything like that. Um, if you stop it the other way with the um, observer, like stopping it right here, um, then this side looks like it's come forward a little bit further than usual. So that kind of looks a little janky, but hey, it doesn't mess nothing up, obviously. <laughs> and that's going to do it for this video, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you had a great time. I really have a wonderful time making these machines there for you. Uh, definitely blow up the comments section below as far as request builds. And don't forget to check the description. Um, I'm going to be posting more on my Twitter again. Uh, we'll be firing that back up. So definitely go follow me over there. I'll be posting pictures and everything of new builds before videos drop. So you guys can actually check them out um, before you see it in a video. Uh, but yeah, no, other than that, um, yeah, I think that's it. Next video will be the battleship and I'll catch you in that one, you guys. Until then, stay safe. Later, late.